What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an event ticketing system with Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Barcodes on make.com. Let's get started. Here, I have a Google spreadsheet that I've renamed as Google Calendar Events, and I have five columns, including the start date, end date, description, event ID, and event link. Here's where we're going to add our events after they have been created. After the events are, cre are created, we're going to watch the events and then create barcodes of these specific individuals. Over here, I'll search for Google Sheet. And here, I'll watch new rows. I'll choose my spreadsheet. And then after choosing my spreadsheet, I'll choose my sheet name, which is sheet one. So we can only add one limit and then click on OK. We can choose to add from a specific ID or all. But I'll come and choose that later. So we can try and create a new event and add it to our spreadsheet right here. So now we can watch it here, and then we can proceed creating our event ticketing system. So this is just an example. So for this one, I'll search for Google Calendar, and then choose Create an Event. Here I'll choose my calendar ID, choose my email. For the event name, we're going to call our event name as, let's say, Western Adult Retreat. So we want it to start on Saturday, and end on a Monday. Okay, leave the duration as is, and then click on OK. When we run this module, you can see that it created our event right here. So as it's confirmed, and we have our link that we'll use to join. Now we can add all this data to our spreadsheet right here. I'll search for Google Sheet and then search for the row. Here I'll choose my spreadsheet, and then here I'll select the sheet name, just sheet one. And then for the start date, we're going to choose the start date right here. For the end date, we're going to choose the end date right here. For the description, we can choose a summary. Event ID, we're going to pick our event ID right here. And the event link, we're going to choose our link over here. And then click on OK. To add the new data to our spreadsheet, all we have to do is just click on Run Once. And you can see we added our data here. So we have our start date, end date, description, event ID, and event link just from this simple automation right here now we can proceed to creating our event ticketing system now let's see if we're going to get our data that we added right here so we can choose to add this one manually this is the event that we just created i'll click on ok and run it you can see we are getting our event over here and all the details right here include the event link the id description start and end date now, our next module that we will add over here is the barcode generator. So here, I'll search for barcodes, and then click on barcodes, and then click on generate barcodes. For the text, we're going to add our description, and then rename it to western.png. Everything looks perfect. I'll click on OK. Run this module. I'll pick on our event and then run it. You can see it successfully generated our barcode and this is its name right here now let us upload this barcode to our google drive folder let's search for drive and then click on upload a file i'll pick the right the reason connection that i had made on our google drive and then to enter a folder i will select from a list and here i'll choose a folder location i'll choose on files folder and then the file is going to be or barcode that has been generated over here and click on ok next on drive i'll create a shareable link to our, and use this link to the document that we'll create on google docs i'll click on get a share link for the file id i'll click on the file id from our upload file and then for the type i'll use anyone and then click on ok then the next thing I'll do here is I'll add another module, create a document, and that will be sent via email to our clients who schedule the event. I'll search for Google Docs. And you can create a document from a template if you have a template. But if you don't have a template, you can just create a document right here and add its name and content. And then add the file location. You can add it to your files folder. On our document, 
we are adding the details to our event. You can see we are adding the event details. Then for the event name, we're going to add our event name right here, which is our Western Adult Retreats. Our start date is going to be start date right here. End date, we're going to add the end date. The location is going to be in a location of the host. And then this is the name of our host. And the ticket information coming on the line. So thank you for purchasing a ticket to our event. And then here we can add the name of our event. The name of our event is Western Adult Retreat. Please find a unique barcode below, which will be required for entry. And then here we'll add our barcode that we generate over here. So we're going to add this link over here via the Get Share Link module. Now, let us choose our previous event that we created earlier to see if automation works perfectly and if it's generating barcodes. To run automation, I'll click on Run Once. So you can see it runs successfully. Automation went ahead and proceeded and generated our, book, our barcodes for us, and then uploaded them to our Google Drive. On our Google Drive, it created a shareable link. This is our shareable link. And we're including this link in our document that we're going to create on Google Docs. I'll copy the WebView link, put it on a new tab. And then here you can see the document that we just created on Google Docs. And then here you're getting the ticket information, like the ticket that you purchased for this event. And then here is the barcode for entrance verification to this event. From here, you can choose to add other modules, you can choose to send this document to your clients. Here you'll add the email of the recipients. So for this example, I'll just add my own email. Our subject line could be on the lines of here are all the details to the and then here's the name of, the, of our event and the content of our, of our email could be on the lines of hey john thank you for booking a ticket to and then the name of our event over here we are thrilled to have you join us for this exciting event please find out the necessary details and your ticket information in the attached document in the attached document you will find a link to your unique barcode which you will need to present at the entrance for verification Please ensure that you keep this link secure as it is your access to the event. And then here we can add our document attachment. To add the link to our document, we're going to click on this web view link over here and add it right here. Now, the rest of the email could be in the lines of if you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. We look forward to seeing you at the event. There's Jennifer. But instead of creating a new event, I'll just get the previous event that we created over here. Now, on this module, I'll click on choose manually and then choose the glaze adult retreats event and then click on okay and now to run automation i'll click on run once so you can see that automation ran successfully here we got our glaze adult event retreat and then it generated unique barcodes for these client who, who just created this event then uploaded the barcodes to our Google Drive and then generated a shareable link to the barcodes. And then added the barcodes to our document over here and then sent the document to our client with the details of the event and the unique barcode that they will need to scan at the entrance of the event. On our email, you can see our subject line over here. You have the details to the Glazard Alt Retreat event. Hey John, thank you for booking a ticket to Blizzard Ultra Treat. We are thrilled to have you join us. Please find the necessary details and your ticket information in the attached document below. And then here's where you'll find a unique barcode that they will use for verification at the entrance. And then here's the document. Now we open our document. Here is a, the document that we just created for these clients. So here are the event details, event name, start date, end date, location host, and the ticket information, and then the link to the barcodes they will use to scan at the entrance. So this is a simple event ticketing system that you can create right now on make.com and automate the entire process of generating tickets for your clients who scheduled your events. If you have any automation system that you'd like for me to create, just comment down below in the comment section. And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire automation or system from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.